let's talk Scream 6. It is the sixth installment of the beloved slasher series. It picks up where Scream 2022 left off the first Scream movie without Nev Campbell, and it basically takes the survivors of that 2022 Scream, places them in college, making it the first movie of this franchise set in New York City. It has a 75 on Rotten Tomatoes and a runtime of two hours and three minutes. I'll say off top, I am a scream head. Love all these movies very dearly. I consider this a lower tier scream movie. I'm so disappointed that like you also didn't like this movie because a lot of people like this movie. It has and a you, high audience score. Yeah, and you uh, you are the scream head of this podcast. I like scream. I'm not totally. Uh, I guess I'm not totally like in the scream world as much as you are. I thought this movie was bad. Here's my issue with it, and we're going to discuss this without spoiler. Uh, this movie, as I said, it doesn't have Sidney Prescott. It does have Gail Weathers. It brings back Kirby from Scream 4, which I liked a lot because Scream 4, I thought was a really, really fun, ridiculous movie. Very good. One of my favorites yes. of the Scream series. Uh, but this relies heavily on those other kids. Sam... Uh, Tara, Chad, the whole gang. Um, and my issue with it is this movie makes a very big deal of the Richie character from the previous one, one of the killers yeah, in Scream 5. And it really is dependent on you caring about the killer from the previous one. And no other Scream movie has dwelled so much on a previous movie's killer and Scream 2's killer was the Scream 1 killer's mom. And it still, like, wasn't that heavy on the whole time them being like, Billy, 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 Billy. And then at the end, it's like, oh, it's Billy's mom. So I guess it does contain Scream 2 spoilers. But if you haven't seen Scream 2, I don't, I don't want to know you. Uh, this, everything, and I'm not saying, like, uh, the end or anything like that. But I'm saying throughout the movie, so much of it is... What went wrong with Richie? What happened to Richie? Did Sam, Richie's ex-girlfriend who kills Richie, did Sam do Richie dirty? People look at Sam this way because of Richie stuff. And I was like, I haven't thought about Richie once yeah, since that same, fucking movie dude. ended, man. Same. Like, I had that same reaction. I was like, why, the, why are we spending so much time on Richie? Like, I understand... Like, the impact that Ghostface has on these people and stuff. But, like, there were two Ghostfaces yeah. in the last one. But all anybody cares about is fucking Richie. And I felt like this one, too, they shoehorned people in. They shoehorned, shoehorned a lot of stuff in for the sake of just shoehorn, shoehorning them in. Gale, uh, Kirby. I know, like, Kirby serves the plot. Um, and more than I thought she would. Right. Same. Um, but they also shoehorn in like even New York city. Like it felt like they just made a change just for the sake of change, but without York, it being meaningful change. New York city plays such a smaller role that in this than I thought it would. And so yeah. much of the, uh, the rollout and the promotion of this film was they're in New York now. And I was like, Oh shit, that's cool. I didn't think like, I wonder what they're going to do in New York. And it's a good thing I didn't because I would have been disappointed. Well, that so that's why that's where There's a lot a of bodega scene. That's that, it. that's where a lot of my disappointment stems from because like a lot of the trailer was like, uh, it's in a new place and it's like a new breed of ghost face. Mm -hmm. And like you see him use the shotgun in the trailer. And so I thought that they were like legitimately going to like rewrite the rules of Scream, which at like a point they talk about it they talk about like this is it, it, it has to reflect like the time in which it's being made and like went early on in the in the scream franchise it was like a slasher and it was goofy and it was meta and um it reflected the the movies of that time this the horror movies of that time and so they like talk about it in this movie but it doesn't really follow that formula it's mm. sort of just like a very basic, like, psychological thriller. One thing I do like about it, though, is this, more so than any of the other Scream movies, I feel like is... I feel like the hunt goes the other way, where in these movies, 
it's a bunch of kids getting mowed down by uh, Ghostface. And there's usually two of them, but they're getting mowed down by a couple of ghost faces. We think it's one. It ends up being multiple, mm-hmm. inevitably. This one, it felt, didn't it feel like more? They were being was proactive. Like, they Right. They yeah. were like, we are finding this person. And obviously in like Scream 2, they're trying to figure out like who's doing it. it and was, in all these, they're trying to figure out who's doing it. But this is the most where like they got the police involved and the police, no offense uh, to deputy, the late uh, Deputy Dewey, this cop seems to... Uh, be more on top of his game <laughs> yes he's like very invested and dewey was very invested too like look you guys know what i'm saying about dewey like we, lo- we love him and we we miss him dearly but like dewey wasn't that good he was reluctant yeah dewey, he was like, a reluctant detective dewey, dewey was like he, like, like he was doing all he could well he was also, kind of a he, stupid guy it also i think like the like the fourth or fifth time you get into uh that sort of battle the, yeah. We've probably got a little bit less excitement and enthusiasm to jump back in. He's like, oh, Sid, I think it seems fine. Let's <laughs> yeah. just... Um, I I just thought, like, the overall, like, the plot wasn't that interesting. Like, the motivations weren't that interesting. The kills weren't even all that interesting. Agree. There were a few interesting kills, but nothing, like... Nothing, like, super fun or, yeah. uh, or like, different. Um, it was... It just felt like a lot of rehashing just for purpose of doing it running it back i think that right now the series is unfortunately kind of lost it's like a sports and i liked the last one and it's like a it's sports rebuilding team, yeah it's like a sports team you like they lose one game and suddenly you're just like freaking out about everything and you're like wait how did it get this bad this quickly is it really this bad or am i overreacting and i think the franchise is just like it's throwing together partial connections like an illegitimate child of billy or like mm-hmm. Gail's dude. trying to get back in the game, and it's like, the what Billy are any of these? The stop, Billy thing dude. is horrible. The stop. Billy thing was very, very. They do terrible. the they do Ghost Billy like so much in yeah. this movie, and it was it was a little much in Scream Five, and they do it twice as much in this. Uh, another thing is that uh, this movie has. Uh, my guy Dermot Bones Mulrones, mm-hmm. aka Dermot Mulroney, and uh, brings no joy to say he he's is. So he turns in a very bad performance. He's so bad, and like I like the worst. I rarely ever am like that guy was. That person was bad. Distracting. Like I don't. People are. I, people are always are always like this person's a good actor. This person's a bad actor. I feel like I don't notice bad acting. The same usually. If if and if, I forgive if, it. If I, if I yeah right, and if I notice, especially in like a scream movie, I'm like ah oh, whatever. Yeah. He was terrible. He was distracting. Where I was like, are they trying to tell me, like he's the kill? Like oh well, what's what's going on with everything that he's doing? Yeah. There's a scene, uh, my theater appropriately as they it should have laughed, where they come across. Uh, a bunch of artifacts from the past, mm-hmm. stuff that'll really rattle them, mm-hmm. and they're all observing it, and uh, it's like chilling, and they're saying, "Oh, this is this, and this is oh, this is where this came from." Blah, blah, blah. and he says, "You've all been through so much," and that's the end of his line. <laughs> but like, they leave like three seconds of silence, and the the whole theater was like, <laughs> "What?" <laughs> Like, the line was just supposed to be like, man, you've all been through so much. But he just, like, it's like he's starting a line and doesn't finish it. And then the movie makes fun of him for it. <laughs> it is so fucking weird. He was not good. Uh, no. Good to see uh, good to see Hayden Panettiere back, though. Love oh, like Liked the, the Kirby character. Uh, glad that, this may contain uh, Scream 4 spoilers, glad that uh, she did not die mm-hmm. at the hands of uh, Rory. Uh, Rory. Well, Rory is his real name. Yes, Rory, Rory Culkin. Culkin. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but she. I mean, she was a good character for it anyway. She was. She's as long as she's there, you'll wonder like, could she have done it? Because in Scream Four, she's the horror movie buff, and they remind you in this that she's the horror movie buff. She's a survivor of this, and they also remind you that the legacy characters are now expendable. Yes, yes. I mean, this won't contain any spoilers, but when they said that Hayden Panettiere was going to be back in this as Kirby. I was like, well, I know who our first suspect is. <laughs> yeah. It could for sure be this. We're we're not getting into spoilers, but the reveal 
is oh, so bad. Very, very bad. It's so bad. And like, I, I wasn't the biggest fan of the, the movie up into the reveal. But once the reveal happened, I was like, you've got to be kidding me. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and oh, there is one cool part I do have to shout out. Which one? And this this will be a kind of spoiler, but there's always there's always two ghost faces. Uh, but at one point, the two ghost faces except meet for up. one time, Scream Two. Yes, that's right. Uh, no, Scream Three when it was her. Let's make oh right, Scream correct, three, correct, uh, correct, yeah, yeah. It, it was the guy from Scrubs. Yes, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> make it contain Scrub spoilers, but uh, there is a point <laughs> in which uh, two ghost faces simultaneously oh that part rocked yeah that part I was like rocked. we're back yeah there was a th that was so sick yeah and there was a like a side by side two ghost face and they both do the the knife wipe at the same time and it was so cool and they, i mean best sound at the oscars next year should be scream because they they always have the shh when that yeah. happens but they like juiced it they yeah. were like turn oh, that yeah. up really loud that i'm glad you mentioned that because i would have been upset if i didn't I, it was I got I was had like a couple of Twitter conversations about the movie after I had seen it and um like I, I you know I, I don't want to to make it seem like the movie I thought everything was it's bad it's not unwatchable no it's not unwatchable and it's not I wouldn't even say it's like I wouldn't even say it's terrible it's it's bad it, it's, I'd say for, for a screen movie I consider it bad because I consider some of the screen movies like borderline like uh, four slashers like I, I scream one fucking rocks i love yeah. scream four scream two is really i'm good. i'm i think that it was this was hurt a little bit by you convincing me to watch scream four the night before because scream four was so good yeah and we were like let's catch up on kirby yeah. let's like I, I wanted to to make sure i knew everything i needed to know about kirby going in. yeah and instead i just came away from it being like what a movie <laughs> and and i and i did like scream five i thought that Same. scream five was very it, it gave a lot of new life to the franchise, obviously introduced a lot of new characters who I was interested in. And I'm not like, I'm not out, but I, this was disappointing based on what we got in Scream 5, I thought. All right, that is Scream 6. Just uh, not the worst movie. Hope the next one's better. Uh, if you are watching on YouTube, subscribe, hit whatever, support the show on patreon.com slash listen to brunch and find the podcast wherever you find podcasts. <laughs>